Why you Hi, good morning. Here we are at Marble Wet and Four Nations. I'm here with Rachel Chong. Hi, good morning, Rachel. Good morning, Bruno. Um, how did you get into the sport? Um, it was when I was about six years old. Uh, my sister used to play at a local club down the road from ours. And my dad also used to uh, ball plays, so I had the influence from that. And one day I just decided to go along with my sister. And I, I remember the first time that I got a junior racket, a balloon, got put in the corner, got told to keep it up in the air, and I loved it straight off of that, yeah. Brilliant. How old was that? It was about 12 years ago now, yeah. You've been playing 12 years? Yeah. Okay. Well, how did your first tournament go? It was it was really well. It was uh, the four, four Nations in Cardiff, 2007, and I'd never played para badminton before, so it was all new to me. I didn't, you know, I'd never even really come across any dwarves before, so it was definitely a new experience. And yeah, it was it was really went really well. Like there was um, a lot of people there, and I think it was two gold and a silver. Yeah. It was really good. So explain to the people what, what, what your disability is and if you play half or full. Okay, I'm in short stature 6, that's the classification, SSA. And we play full court with a full night as well. Have you played in different countries before? Yeah, um, with, well with the four nations we get to do around the UK and uh, I've been to Germany a couple of times and this year I'm going to Michigan as well for the World Dwarf Games. So very exciting. Yeah. Excellent, very exciting. Um, what support do you get from the um, I don't get any support really. It's it's all funded by myself and my family. There's like we my mum and dad help me a lot and they also like drive me everywhere as parents should. <laughs> yeah, so they we pay for it all really. So how much do you say I believe that you're a top player? What's your ranking? I'm uh, number one in the world and in the UK and in Europe as well. So, okay, so <laughs> number one. So on that basis, how much would it actually cost you per year to travel to do the tournament? Um, well, like Michigan alone, that's going to cost over a £1,000. So, okay, that only happens once every four years. Four years. I think I would like to go to more international tournaments, so I am thinking, you know, it would be quite a high figure. I mean, like, I wouldn't mind if we got some support and we paid for the rest, but at the moment we don't get any, so it makes it difficult to go to all the internationals. Um, which was your toughest match today? Um, I'd say it was, I think, because I'm, I'd say I'm not much of a singles player, so it would be, um, a singles final probably. I'm, sometimes I don't remember them very well. I try to uh, yeah forget them sometimes if they're not playing too well. But yeah, it'd be a uh, probably singles. Do you remember which one it was? Um, in the in the Europeans that was quite hard, and I remember I vaguely remember the world ones that I know they were quite hard, and it was a player that I don't often play against. She doesn't come to many of the tournaments, so I, I wasn't accustomed to her style of play, and she was quite strong. Yeah. Which country is she from? She's from England, yeah. But she, she uh, doesn't go to many events. She went to the first four nations that I went to. But after that, she, uh, she didn't come to any more. Which is Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.